<laughs> I wish Mufti could visit NYC. I, I will, inshallah. You know what? I um, I was just speaking yesterday to a um, good friend of mine, Imam Tawqir. I don't know if he'll end up watching this. So if you do, you're doing it, Sheikh. You're doing it. And so uh, we at one time were uh, studying together in Pakistan, Karachi. And obviously we've on and off been in touch, but recently we're just speaking again. And and he was just saying to me uh, just yesterday about, you know, you need to come to the States. And, and I was just telling him that, you know, as it had happened, you know, in 2019, so before the all this COVID, we were actually, me and my friends, we were kind of planning that, look, Let's just a kind of set a nomadic tour of America. Let's take out maybe two, three weeks and just go different places, meet different people. And, you know, it's such a huge place and and it'll be interesting. It'll be fun. And, you know, it's an excuse to kind of be there, meet people, go here, go there. And, and we were actually saying this and we, we were looking to, to – it was 2019 and we were thinking – you know what, maybe we'll do it for next year, you know, maybe mid next year, late next year. And and then the world just changed with COVID. So, but yeah, it is definitely on the agenda. Why not? You know, just, just for fun, go meet, um, just, just connect really. I think that's, that, that will be amazing. So I will be your tour guide. Yeah. Ahlan wa sahlan. Oh, yeah, the U.S. Yeah, this is another thing. I don't know. Um, to be fair, in the past, I have been to America twice, and it wasn't that difficult to get the, I don't know now, um, the visa and stuff, but or whatever they used to call it. Um, but I, it was, t I had to say, you know, my experience with America was any position of authority was terrible to deal with, and the people were amazing. <laughs> as in the people generally people i generally came across were all very kind of like cheerful jolly and, and even if they i don't know if they were jolly but they're very um uh, friendly friendly yeah and very loud and <laughs> yeah and huge everything in america is huge it's like the land of the giants isn't it their food is huge the people are huge all the people are like six foot five at least and you know it's all this genetically modified food i'm telling you <laughs> when we were in pakistan studying everybody that came from america was like they were like giants almost you know we didn't matter what ethnicity they had so they could be you know you could think well these people let's say this ethnicity normally may be tall or this ethnicity so even not to kind of so let's say even there were some uh, bangladeshi students that had come over and not saying that bangladeshis are necessarily uh not so tall but generally you might see the ones that were from the uk there were several but the americans they were all like <laughs> you had to, it didn't matter what ethnicity they were <laughs> that's the kind of stuff we needed growing up Whatever genetically modified food they were having, we needed that here in the UK. <laughs> yeah, see, look, somebody saying, uh, uh, oh, I wish I was. Oh, I thought you said I, I'm six foot three. I was going to say that's that, that's exactly how. <laughs> well, five, six. Yeah, well, OK. <laughs> see, you're the showing this is the true fitra. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So, what's going on, people? You need to visit Florida on your trip, definitely. Uh, I I do intend to when that does happen. Obviously, it's it's a little while away, but I want to. You know, I I feel that one of the things that you know, it's like how Freud said: if youth could, if age knew. <laughs> no, sorry, I said that wrong way around. If age could, if youth knew. But it's like what he means is that, you know, 
And how I'm relating that to what I'm about to say is that, you see, when you're younger, you could really just go off. You could if you wanted to. I, I think it's so amazing, honestly. If I mean, I did in my own way just go off and study, but I'm saying that even for other people that don't want to go off for full studies and don't want to spend years, I would definitely say that they should at least spend half a year, at least one year traveling, you know, at least go to different places. It's because it's it's like life, isn't it? You're going to learn. You're going to pick up life. It's not you, you could stay in the same place a thousand years and you can't learn the same, <laughs> you know, the same kind of what life will teach you, cultures, practicing languages. And, and I really miss that, I, I have to say. I mean, I do travel occasionally, but because it's now traveling, the problem is as you get older, you see, when you're younger, the problem is you're thinking about money. You're thinking, well, how do I get money to do this? And how do I do this? And how do I do that? And and you see, it's it's more of a, you know, there's more of a struggle to it. I mean, there's a struggle throughout life, but it kind of changes its algorithm. And as you get older, you know, you may be a bit more stable, you may have more money now. But then you're, you've accommodated, you've kind of acclimated. And so now you want luxuries. Now you don't want to live it rough. <laughs> now when you travel, you're like, yeah, five class Five star, yeah, top class. <laughs> so you don't want to be living it rough anymore. And and you <laughs> and then at that level, all culture is kind of just the same. It's just one, you know, global cult culture. Um, but yeah.